Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called While Loop. And in this video, we're going to be jumping into some new PHP material. So let's do this. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 19 While Loop. In your code editor, make sure to open final and practice.php in the 19 while loop folder. Practice.php is the sandbox and final.php is the final example, which looks like this. We have the numbers 10 through 20 and we're using the while loop to give us this result. So why don't we jump into the lecture so we can learn a little bit about the while loop. When coding PHP, loops can be fantastic. Basically, you can write a piece of code to repeat itself again and again until a certain condition has been met. There are a few types of loops in PHP, but in this lecture, we're going to learn about while loops. Here's how a while loop works. While a condition is true, execute some code. At this point, you probably have no idea how to actually use a while loop in PHP, but that's okay. Let's dive into how you actually use it. So let's say you want PHP to echo the numbers from 10 to 20. First, you need to set a variable with your starting number. So here's our PHP script. Let's set a variable with the starting number. We're going to say 10. Then you need to start your while loop with a condition. So you need to give your while loop a condition. And in this case, we want our condition to say, while my starting number is less than or equal to 20, the condition is true. To help clarify, as long as the variable starting num is less than or equal to 20, keep on looping. So here's our PHP script again. We have our variable with the starting number and our while loop skeleton with a condition. While the starting num is less than or equal to 20, execute some code. Now you may be thinking our starting number is 10 and it will always be less than 20, Dumbo. Well, each time we loop through our function, we will tell PHP to increment our starting number by one. Therefore, eventually our starting number will be equal to 20. Our condition says to stop looping once our starting number is larger than 20. We need to do this to prevent an infinite loop, something you most definitely don't want. An infinite loop means your function literally will run forever, which can freeze up computer, your computer and cause a whole whack of other issues. So let's tell PHP to echo our starting num variable, then increment the variable by one. Here's our PHP script again. We have our starting number. While the starting number is less than or equal to 20, echo the variable on the screen. And then we're going to concatenate a break tag at the end so that each new number will be on its own line. So echo starting num, concatenate a break tag. Then increment the value by one. You do that in PHP by adding a plus plus after the variable, as long as the variable is an integer. So in PHP, you can increment and decrement variables like so. A plus plus or variable plus plus adds one to the value of the variable each time through. Variable A minus minus subtracts from the value of the variable A each time through. So this adds plus one, this subtracts one. So if I coded this correctly, the code should echo the numbers 10 through 20 on your screen and stop at 20. Keep in mind, you can use any of the operators we've used in our past lectures as the conditions that need to be met in the while loop. So again, here's our final example, the numbers 10 through 20. So why don't we jump into our code editor and see if we can achieve the same result. So in your practice.php, File, go ahead and add your constants and your custom variables. I've auto filled them this time so I don't have to type them all out, but feel free to add your constant with the title, the name, and the lesson number. And then remember to echo your constant between the title tags and the small tag here. And at the very bottom, you want to echo your date and your name. Your practice.php file will have some HTML comments in replacement of these, so you will know where you need to add that code. So go ahead and add those, and once you're done, let's jump into our PHP script right here in the sandbox. So why don't we start by setting a variable with your starting number. So let's say starting num is equal to 10. 
while starting num is less than or equal to 20. Okay, here's our while loop. Skeleton. And we're going to say the condition is starting num is less than or equal to 20. So while that's the case, echo the value of the variable on the screen using the echo function starting num. And then we're going to concatenate a break tag at the end of each line. Then we want to increment the value of starting num by one. And we do that like so. Starting num plus plus. Save that. Now why don't we check that out in practice.php, see if you got the same thing. Boom, there it is, 10 through 20. If you got the same result, then you nailed it. If not, go ahead and go back to the code editor, make sure you have everything typed out properly. Maybe you're missing a semicolon, so on and so forth. And that's basically it for the basics of the while loop. You can also go in and change the value of the starting number, and you can change the condition to be you know, less than or equal to a certain number. You can change this to 100. It could be a negative number, and you can decrement the value using uh, the minus minus. Change your variables and your conditions, so on and so forth. Get comfortable with the while loop. And in the next lecture, we're going to be covering the basics of the for loop. See you there.